Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and we're on day seven. Uh, we're gonna go out for breakfast. How'd you talk me into it? She had to twist my arm. She had to ask five, ten times. Or maybe she just barely mentioned it and I grabbed my keys. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. So we're gonna go try to find a place to eat breakfast and I think today's gonna be kind of uh, slowly packing up getting ready to leave tomorrow day even though we don't have to leave till 2 o'clock tomorrow but we're gonna do some math tonight and uh, try to figure out what time to leave to get us into the area that we want to go because I want to go through the hills or mountains of West Virginia on the way home to see how the truck does um, even though that fuel pump in the rear is possibly still acting up I don't know we'll uh, just make sure that we have a, a front tank full whenever we hit the hills uh, so we don't break down in a weird place so that's what we're doing today so far we went out to breakfast and uh, it was good it was Doris Diner uh, just a small place like all the places here um, but very good a lot more food than we expected for the money so <laughs> I don't think either one of us cleared our plates uh, so we came back here to uh, veg out I need to take a nap <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I'm uh, still having a problem with my fuel pump I'm not exactly sure what's going on but we had a long crank time this morning to start it and it uh, I don't know it, it just it just is odd so we're gonna have to take that in consideration whenever we're making our trip back of course we'll keep you updated my ankles for some reason are swelling up <laughs> not sure why but uh, it's like I've been sitting for a really long time now I've done a lot of video editing but I'm not sure what's coming down the road but it's loud I what that is it's a boat down in the water, that's what it is. <laughs> Don't have very many boats going around. Last night, I forgot to update you guys this morning, uh, we went over and I made a repair on uh, the camper host fireplace. Um, all it needed was new bulbs and there's five of them in that thing. That seems crazy to me, but uh, he had to pull the whole unit out. It wasn't user friendly at all as far as changing bulbs. It surprised me. Uh, one of them was broke off inside the socket, so um, not only was it hard to get to, but it was tough to retract that part. But we uh, we stayed over there for a while and talked. Um, their their trailer's nice. Um, it's very lived in. It's something that. They made their home because they're living in it and uh, they were the first to tell us that it's not set up to move easy it takes a few days just to get ready to move uh, because everything is just out it's not secured or anything like that and really I mean if they're comfortable that way that's great like I said they don't like moving around too much so think if they would move around more if they were more comfortable towing. Yeah, I think that I, I, I think I'm with Heidi there. I think that they probably are they're so unsure about everything. A little unsure. Um, yeah. Yeah, that it's that's a shame, but that again, uh, I mean if they really wanted to, to move around they would you know move around they would they would do it so I don't know how much of that is keeping them in one spot versus maybe they just like staying in one spot so as far as the fuel pump in the back I have no idea what's happening back there um, it doesn't make any sense I, I can't believe that another fuel pump is failing and if it is why is it failing so soon and what's causing it to fail I can't think of anything um, it, it just doesn't make any sense at this point so when we leave out of here uh, the only thing I can think to do is 
drive off the rear tank as much as possible and if it fails completely uh, then at that point at least uh, there's not a lot of fuel in it and uh, we'll just have to run off the front pump which the front tank seems to be fine and here's the thing other than the switch on the dash um, everything else is shared for the most part on those pumps uh, the front pump and the rear pump use the same fuel filter the front pump and the rear pump use the same fuel pump relay the front pump and the rear pump they pressurize the same fuel lines uh, I just don't get it I'm, I'm not exactly sure what could possibly be going on uh, the only other thing I could do um, which I can't do here to rule it out is to have a huge long wiring harness that has four pins on it that would allow me to plug into the front pump supply harness coming from the engine and then run it all the way back to the rear pump and plug it in to where the front switch could also operate the rear tank to see if it's a switching issue or a electrical issue or something like that um, that would rule it out but the more and more I think about it you know keep it simple stupid um, basically it's acting like the fuel pumps failing and again keeping it simple that means the fuel pumps probably failing we'll have Heidi figure it out I'm gonna have her get underneath there and take it out <laughs> get right on that but hopefully um, the pump runs pretty good uh, on the way home again it, it, it it's hit and miss uh, in the morning it's a long crank and it doesn't want to start up right away but if I go out and pull out on the road and put my foot to the floor the thing takes off and runs fine it's there's no hesitation or anything it's usually just in the low RPMs um, whenever you're just kind of moseying along at a, at a low RPM like below 1500 uh, so seeing how a lot of the towing's done above that RPM hopefully there's no issue we'll see Heidi's gonna cook steaks today aren't you yes can't wait for that we've had those in the freezer for a couple days so it's gonna be nice and um, we got rain coming in tomorrow uh, definitely got rain coming in tomorrow I don't know maybe we'll have to uh, start buttoning up everything tonight yeah that's a possibility we definitely want to get out of here earlier than we could. I mean, we don't have to check out till 2 tomorrow. We're definitely not going to go that long just because of the chance of mechanical failure at this point. Um, if I didn't have any issues with the truck at all, I'm sure I would drag my butt and uh, make it to where we left, you know, at the very last minute for the most part. But, yeah, we're going to have to uh, get out of here early to make sure we get home on time. Okay guys, so Heidi made steak and salad. And we're gonna go to town. <laughs> I took a little nap again out here in this chair. <clears throat> I can sleep for hours. Some days I'm just tired than others. So uh, gonna eat up here and Maybe relax a little bit more. Alright guys, so we just got back from the trout stream, the stream that all the runoff uh, that we visited the other day on the bike trail. Uh, there were some people down there catching a bunch of dumb fish. <laughs> a lot of those fish that were released today, they, I don't know how long they were. About six inches. Yeah, they, they just, they're hanging out in the stream and there's people over there catching them and I know that there's got to be a, a limit as far as size but they're down there hooking them I, I don't know I, and I would think that they'd be throwing them back but they're not she had them all on a stringer or something there's a whole bunch of them. of them yeah so we came back to the campsite here and we decided that we're gonna start packing up everything this evening getting everything ready for the camper to where uh, tomorrow all we gotta do is just hook the truck up to it and then take it up of course to the dump station and dump and as far as our black tank, I said it was full. Uh, we still use it. There's still room in it. So I I guess I jumped the gun. I, the gauge said full, so I was concerned that it was full. But 
it's uh, apparently there's a safety margin there because there's still plenty of room in there um, but we'll have to empty that tomorrow and uh, slowly make our way back and we're gonna leave probably a little early because we want to make sure because the fuel pump issue that uh, if we have some sort of a problem that we've got plenty of time uh, Heidi doesn't have to be back work till Monday right opening Probably. so we're making it to where we're gonna get back on Sunday it's just uh, we, we want to take it easy uh, and we planned on making a stop overnight halfway home I still would like to do West Virginia but I don't know what the truck and the fuel pump I know it's going to be eating up fuel doing the mountains and if I'm only running on that front tank uh, I'm not going to be able to do that so that may change also the reason that we're putting everything away and getting set up to where we can leave tomorrow or earlier is because rains in the forecast and last thing I want to do is be trying to put away a wet awning a wet picnic table cover a wet uh, awning mat <laughs> and uh, wet bicycles and wet grill and stuff like that so uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and try to take care of that this evening so right now it's only three o'clock and we're still messed up because of the time change because in Ohio it's four o'clock right now and uh, it seems later we get up earlier every day and uh, I'd hate to see what we do on a three-hour difference <laughs> you think we've got used to it now but I don't know it's it's too close I guess it's not enough of a time change that's what we're doing I don't know if I'll be back for a closeout tonight because really there's not gonna be anything to do other than putting everything away we do have to again clean up the awnings got a lot of tree twig stuff on it so we're gonna have to brush that off uh, of course the picnic table cover and the awning mat uh, we'll get all that put away and buttoned up and probably join us tomorrow then whenever we're heading out so for today we're gonna close out and as always we hope to see you out there bye, bye.